Shalom and Chag Sameach. When the holiday of Passover comes, I always reflect on my time of military service, 38 years in the United States Army Reserve, and the opportunity that I had to share the celebration of our freedom with so many of our deployed service members in combat theaters around the world. I think back to a Seder at Forward Operating Base Spiker in Iraq. There we were in a containerized unit surrounded by barbed wire behind the headquarters building, the most secure place that could be found, and 11 of us gathered to celebrate the Seder. One individual at the table said, I'm so glad that we're here behind closed doors for our own safety. So you can imagine my trepidation when it came time to open the door to welcome the prophet Elijah. I hesitated for just a moment and then decided that as United States citizens, we are blessed with the right of freedom of religious expression. And I bravely opened up the door and we sang out into the environment in northern Iraq, Eliyahu Hanavi, and then closed the door quickly. Another time I was at forward operating base Taji, and we were coming to the portion of the Seder where we spill wine out of our cup, reminding ourselves of the plagues. This is such an important part of our ritual as it teaches us that we need to retain our own sense of compassion, our own sense of humanity, even when we are confronted with an enemy who wishes to destroy us, as the Israelites were in ancient Egypt and as American soldiers were in Iraq at that time. It was a very, very powerful reminder to the soldiers that I served that we never want to lose sight of the humanity of those with whom we were in combat at that time, that we want to retain our own humanity by reflecting that every single person is an image of God and never losing that sense of loss that accompanies the death of any human being. Passover is a beautiful and meaningful celebration of freedom and an important time for us to reflect on the wonderful blessing of freedom that we have as citizens of this great country. When I walked out of that Seder, one young woman said to me, it's almost like being at home. And that was the joy and the honor and the humbling experience of serving for 38 years in the United States Army.